Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll be learning how to create a 3D model by importing a DWG file from AutoCAD or any other 2D program. We're going to be modeling a tiny house with measurements of 5 by 6 meters. Let's start off by going to File, Import, and then import the file from whichever folder your file is stored in. So I'm going to open that. Now we're going to make sure that our incoming file units are the same as the units used from our 2D program. So in my case, it's in millimeters. Press OK. Now the first thing we do is set the units we'd like to work with. So let's go to Customize, Unit Setup. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using centimeters. Click OK. Now. We need to make sure that the walls we'll create will be snapping to our floor plan so that we get something a little bit more accurate. So let's go over to the tools menu, grid and snap settings, and select vertex and close. Now let's start off by going to create AEC object and select the wall. For the justification, select left. You can use center or right, but in my case, I'll be using left. So let's go ahead and make a start. You notice the yellow sign appearing every time we hover over the edges of our floor plan. That's because we activated the grids and snap option. So right now the wall thickness we have is not the same as the one we have in our plan. So we're going to modify that. Click escape and change that to 20 centimeters. Press enter. And for the height, let's maybe have it at three meters. So that's 300 centimeters. Now let's go ahead and do that again. You notice that's snapping correctly now and the thickness of our wall is correct. So just click around the edges of our floor plan right now, like so. Press escape to exit the creation mode. And let's go ahead and repeat that here. Let's do it from within here. I'm using this top viewport because it's easier to follow our plan. And you notice the results sort of just coming out on um, the other viewport as well. If your screen is a little bit small, you can always maximize the top viewport so you can see a bit better, like so. Hit escape again. And now for the internal walls, We need to decrease that to 15 centimeters. So just follow what I'm doing on screen. And this wall ends here. And it goes to the and then it goes to the end. Like so. Follow this as well. Press escape. And that's it. We have all our walls created. Let's maximize the perspective viewport just to see what we've created. One thing I forgot to mention, you can press S on your keyboard to activate and deactivate the snap options. So I'm going to delete one wall and I'll give you an example of what happens when you don't have your snap options activated. Okay, so we're going to redo the toilet and kitchen wall separation. So create a C wall. As long as the yellow plus sign is appearing, it means our snap options are still activated. So I'm going to press X on my keyboard to deactivate it. And now you see what happens when I create the wall without having that on. Now I don't have the precision anymore. It's not snapping to anything. So when I create the wall, I'm now having to try and correctly position my wall against the other wall. Even on this side here, it's not snapping anymore. So Regardless of how well I try to do this, it might not come out correctly. There will always be some sort of gap when you zoom in really close. So delete that. Hit S to activate the snap option. And there we go. That's snapping correctly. And then hit escape. Okay, so we have our walls created. Thanks for watching part one of this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share.